Origami Math Genius is a curriculum developed for integrating art and science in education, K-12. When I look at this beautiful origami art, I thought, oh, this is so elegant, but little did I know it was designed mathematically on the computers. And that's my inspiration. And the mass design of origami art really turned me on. So I decided to develop a curriculum of origami math genius. And we hope that it uh, can help kids to overcome the math anxiety and excite them about learning. And uh, what is the origami math? OK, given any two points on a piece of paper, you can fold a unique line that passes through both points. Origami math is basically to define them mathematically. And uh, for this one, we know it is, can be easily defined because two points define a line. So this particular fold can also be uh, formulated mathematically into equation. Origami has only seven basic folds. All of them can be formulated mathematically in equation. So that's the foundation of origami math. And um, origami has its own language called the folding diagram. It is a graphical instruction of constructing an origami art. And all this uh, uh, folding can actually be done mathematically on computers. So that's my, uh, uh, what I, I found is very interesting. And uh, if you look at this, um, the mass folding on the computer, particularly if you look at the, uh, the diagram, it's nothing but a simple math concept such as the geometry and the fraction. So that's nothing difficult beyond a middle school a kid. So origami solves problem too. For example, the airbag uses origami concept to, uh, to, uh, for the design, the folding design, and the computer simulation to ensure the deployment would happen in milliseconds to save life. So this is about life and death. Another example is a stand. They also use origami uh, design so that the, the, the stand has to be narrow enough to travel within uh, the artery and then add the blockage, open it up, and clear the blockage. So this is, shows how important origami is. Next example is a solar panel in a spacecraft. And it used origami concept to pack them so small during the uh, flight. And then when they reach the destination, they can open up and absorb, collect the solar energy. So there are many other applications. And this one, I used the origami mask to design this fashion. So I told the model, this is a paper dress. Please don't smoke. <laughs> so we had a great time and, uh, in the fashion show. And um, when kids learn the origami, you know, when they are having fun and the, when the, they are active, they turn to learn to better. Origami math has been brought into classroom and a research program in Harvard, MIT, Caltech, and the top universities. So I developed the OMG is to prepare our kids for the future. And here's an example of the, of the OMG class. Okay, fraction is a basic, uh, the math concept for six years old uh, kids. So we teach them to fold a square of paper into half in different ways. So this is a very simple. It's visual. It is uh, it's very easy. And what about the one-third uh, uh, fraction? This is a classic math problem. You fold half first, and then fold the one corner to the half point. The intersecting point of the two edges on the top is exactly one-third. So that just divided a square into three equal parts. In trigonometry, 45 degree is often used, but how big is 45 degree? You just fold a square paper into half that reinforces the concept of the fraction, dividing 90 degree into 45 degree. So it's very easy. And what about the 30 degree? For the 30 degree, okay, you fir first fold half in the middle vertically, and then fold another corner to the center line. And this fold just trisect to 90 degree angle into a three equal part, which is 30 degree. You can also fold this way for 60 degree. So this is uh, just another example. And also fold a cube, help develop the kids 
the 3D spatial intelligence. So by folding a cube, they learned it has six faces. So this is a modular origami. And we folded the tube also to construct a bigger project. So by, this is uh, installation art using that uh, cube that we fold. And it compels kids to plan the supply and calculate the number and the size of the cube used to construct this origami chimney. So this is, I think, is a really a great project. Next is a fold a circular pie, but the gap was designed to compel kids uh, to ask the question and to understand the relationship between a square and the uh, circle, and then completed the gap. So this is just another example. Finally, example is the fold or computer design. This is maybe uh, for um, uh, older kids, and uh, they can design the head profile on the computer, and then print out the diagram and then fold into a paper head. So, and um, we have designed uh, quite a few uh, projects like this. Finally, I want to say that OMG is really prepared to, uh, for, for the kids and for our future. So I appreciate your attention. Thank you.